Hey guys, if you haven't already, give the video a like. Subscribe to my channel. This is a what if series and I will be continuing more down the road. So stay tuned and thanks for watching. Hey guys, thank you for subscribing to my channel, watching my videos, liking my content and commenting. It means a lot. And also I wanted to share with you guys, if you want to support this channel and you want to be able to suggest me what ifs to do, become a patron. The link is in the description below. And I look forward to seeing you in the future. So let's go beyond plus ultra. Hey guys, welcome to What If Deku Mastered One For All Past One Million Percent. Let's get into the story. So like I said, where we left off in the part two, this is starting the USJ arc. The battle against the villains and the Nomu that Shigaraki had that come out of the warp gate teleportation thing that Korgiri had. So let's get into it. As the... Trial starts, the arc starts, you see all the students in the class and Shoto Aizawa says, okay, everyone pick a president. I don't care who it is, just pick one so we can go on with the day. And I can say this is just one thing that's out of the picture. So as Shoto Aizawa enter his sleeping bag and falls asleep, all the class are discussing amongst each other and people are raising their hand. Even Tenya Ida starts to raise his hand, even though he seriously wants to be it. They all pick Izuku Midoriya to be class president. And Izuku Midoriya, he's just instantly trying to find out, like, talking to himself. So if I do this, if I put this amount of training in, would I reach this amount of percentage? Or if I re put this amount of training in, would I reach this amount of percentage? Or what if I did this? Or what if I did that? Or, and you hear Ochaku taps Izuku and she says, are you okay? And Izuku just yells out, oh, oh. I'm sorry, I must have been talking to myself. Um, what do you want again? And Yachaku says, we picked you to be the class president. And Izuku said, well, why, why would you do that? And he's, Ochaku was just shocked and everyone else was just shocked. As they were a little bit confused as what Izuku, why would Izuku say that? I mean... Don't you want to be the class president? And Izuku says, I have no concern of being the class president. The only thing I'm concerned about is furthering my power and becoming stronger than All Might and anyone else. That's possibly it. The class president thing doesn't much impress me. For anything, I think Tinya Ida deserves to be class president because he shows great leader skills great showmanship, and he has all the traits that a class president should have. I don't know why you picked me. And Izuku said with a smile. And Tenya Ida was like, he was sh shocked because he didn't even think Izuku would even mention him for class rep or class president. And all the students started talking to each other and they realized that Izuku, what Izuku was saying was the truth. That Tenya Ida really did display all the characteristics of of a class president so he was the class president they picked him to be it and while they were having lunch in the cafeteria the alarm went off and all the students are running they ran into the main location as Shoto Aizawa was trying to calm everyone down he's trying to calm everyone down you see Tenya Ida he just tells Ochaku Float me to the top. I will calm all of them down. And Ochaku says, okay. And as Tinya Ida floated up to the top, he said, excuse me. Will you all shut up? And all the students just look up. And he says, listen to me. Panicking and overreacting will get you nowhere in this situation. We don't even know why the alarm was sounded off in the first place. So by your confusing chatter running around screaming yelling oh my god what is going to happen this and that in the third we don't even know what's going on so by you doing all that makes me think that this class is going downhill then you hear someone say downhill what do you mean and Tinya Ida says well downhill as mean you're going nowhere with all this overreacting and panicking you're basically leading yourself into a fight with your head screwed off his shoulders. So instead of yelling, screaming, and running around with a chicken with his head cut off, try calming yourself. Try, try to evaluate the situation. 
and find a solution to why the alarm has been sounded off. Have a calm mind in situations like this because it could be a false alarm or it could be real. You never know. And with that, the whole class calmed down. They were calm and in a sense that they looked up to Tinya Ida and then they applauded. And as they applauded, Shoto Aizawa said, well, this guy's got some skill. Guess he really is a class president material. And then you've seen a purplish black gate open and all these villains started coming out of it. All of these villains, even Tomura Shigaraki, he came out of it. And he said, the symbol of peace who have died today. I swear of it. And you see this big giant, not giant, but he went too tall, about as big as all my. But you see this big giant behemoth like thing come out of the uh, exit gate too. not the exit gate, the warp gate. That's what I'm going to call it. The purplish warp black gate. And Tomura Shigaraki said this thing here. This monstrosity will be the end of all might. And you, and Deku, he just says, as he senses, he senses the fear, not fear, but he senses the worry of Shoto Aizawa. And he tells, Shoto Aizawa tells 13 to gather up all the kids, to gather them up and keep them like like keep them away from the villains and show twice how he's taking on each of the villains beating their asses this man is not capping he's knocking each and every one of these villains out and Deku this is what he's been waiting for to further his skills he sees this he sees the villains there he sees the giant behemoth there he doesn't know what to call it even Shigor Shigoraki says this is the Nomu and Deku just not worried about that. He, it just slips his mind. Still doesn't know what to call it. And Deku clenches his fist and says, Oh, so I can now further my power. I can see just how far I can go by defeating these guys. And he starts off to tell Tomoro Shigaraki, I don't even think you guys would have a chance to touch All Might. Why? Because I'm going to defeat you. And Deku was confident as Deku starts to charge at them with such speed that Carl Geary barely caught him as he warped Suyu, Deku, and Mineta to a different to the flood area. He warped all the students to different locations. And Deku was just mad. He was in the water, but he was frustrated. Like, how did I get here? Like he said in his mind, and he sees this shark coming towards him with such speed, such fastness, and Deku wasn't feared. He wasn't scared because little did that villain know he was finna get a full power hit to the face before Deku could even punch. Suyu instantly hit the shark. And Suyu let out her tongue saying, yeah, Midoriya. And he in she instantly saves Midoriya and Manessa from out of the water. But Deku says, you need to do that. I had it covered. And Suyu said, oh, you did? Mm hmm. My bad. She scratches her head. But Deku says, anyway, thank you, Suyu. I appreciate that. You're quite strong. With enough training, you might be even stronger than strong, maybe. Deku said sarcastically, and Suyu said, Ugh, uh, okay, Midoriya. So how are we going to get out of this situation and Izuku was just saying, well, I don't have time to play fiddle-faddle with these villains here or to strategize because the more we sit here and waste time, the more Aizawa is going to get tired out because ain't no way in hell he can take all those villains. And that big guy, that Shigaraki or whoever that villain is, has displayed doesn't seem to be a freeloader or a push-off. He seems quite strong, and I don't think that Shoto Aizawa, well, Mr. Aizawa, I don't think he's going to be able to beat that guy, specifically since he was designed to beat All Might. And Suyu, she looks at Izuku, and he, she says, well, what do you suggest? Izuku then looked at Suyu, and he says, well, first, you two grab onto me right now. 
and Mineta, he instantly grabs onto Deku, and Suyu, she grabs onto him too, and Deku, he jumps up into the air with such speed, and he yells out, Detroit Smash! And hits the water, and you know how the downward punch, he sent the downward air pressure punch to the water, dispersing it outward, sending all the villains flying, and then he do, yells, New Hampshire Smash! And propels him, Suyu, and Mineta back to the area that they came. And when he got there, he seen that Shoto Aizawa had beaten some of the villains, but he seen that Shoto Aizawa was going to attack Shigaraki, and Shigaraki catched his elbow, basically disintegrating some of his elbow, and then a no move basically pinned Shoto Aizawa down to the ground, basically cr twisting his arm, breaking his arm as Shoto Aizawa screamed out in agony. Deku instantly sees this. He instantly sees this as all the other students, Bakugo and Kishima, they're doing their own thing trying to fight off the villains and Bakugo's calling them weak because it was nothing to Bakugo to smash these villains. And all the students, even Todoroki, he even finished his villains quickly with no ease. And when Deku sees his teacher on the ground, helpless, defenseless, can't even do nothing, and Shigaraki's just sitting there like him and says, Well, I didn't expect that you would die so fast. I thought he raised her head, but at least put up much of a fight. And as Deku steps out of the water, he's angry. Deku's not in a playing mood, because right now Deku's thinking that if he doesn't do anything right now, Shoto Aizawa is going to die. And that would be the first person that Deku couldn't save. So Deku instantly just stands there and he powers up and he says, full cowing, 100%. And all his power goes up to 100%. And just like this picture here, you see, Deku's eyes has this green energy coming out of it. His hair stands up. You've seen this green electricity flowing all over Deku's body. You see the veins like thing. Shocking seeing the power surge. So you're seeing a power surge all through Deku's body. And you see a gust of green energy just shoot up in the air. And Deku says, get off of him. And he's with such speed and ferocity, he shoot towards the Nomu, punching the Nomu off of Shoto Aizawa and kicking Shigaraki dead in the face, sending Shigaraki crashing, like, skip rocking on the ground. You know how basically he hit the ground, like, and landed into the wall. While the no move just stumbled a bit, Deku says, okay, so this guy was made to handle 100% of All Might's power. Well, let's increase that. So Deku further increased the power to 250%. But he sensed that when he was hitting the Nomu, he increased it, increased it, increased it, increased it, and punching the Nomu, and punching the Nomu, saying that the Nomu's power is shock absorption. And the Nomu instantly punches Deku in the stomach, sending him flying, and then slams Deku onto the ground, and Shigaraki guts back up, spitting out blood, saying, you won't be able to beat him like that. His power is shock absorption. And Deku gets back up and says, oh, really? And then Deku says, one for all, I can only manage this for about 40 seconds at the most. And Deku says, one for all, 300%. And he feels his body creaking and cracking because it hurts. But Deku instantly, instantly says, this will be enough to beat you. I promise. Full cow. And Deku shoots towards the Nomu, saying one Detroit smash, punching the Nomu in the face, and then two Detroit smash, hitting the Nomu dead in the chest, and three Detroit smash, kicking the Nomu dead in the side, and basically Deku's just jumping back and forth, speeding around the Nomu, not giving the Nomu no time to attack, not giving the no Nomu no time to swing or anything, he's jumping around the Nomu so fast that the Nomu can't even predict his own movements, and he's, Deku's hitting the Nomu with such strong attack, and this causes the Nomu to spit out uh, shit like blood from his mouth. Basically, the Nomu couldn't even fend off the attacks. And Deku just tells the Nomu, 
as Deku kicks the Nomu in the air and grabs it by his arm, slamming it towards the ground, making a huge explosion shockwave. As all the students sees this, they see Deku just tank this Nomu like it wasn't nothing, and Deku just instantly hits the ground and tells the Nomu, you will not touch on my, not if I have something to say about it. And Deku charges up his arm and yells out, Delaware, Detroit, smash! And punches the Nomu so hard that it sent the Nomu flying to the point it just left the USJ facility, leaving a big explosion as it hit the uh, ceiling. And all the gusts of wind and they, all the students are saying, what is that? What was that? All the students everywhere, they're saying, whoa, the earth is, everything's shaking. What's that? Is that All Might? And Minetta's looking like, like, whoa, the only person I ever seen do that was All Might. Even Suyu was shocked. But Bakugo, he's just angry yet. He's angry as though he made it there to see that. He's angry, but yet he's happy as he was seeing Deku and the Nomu go at it. And when All Might arrived, All Might was like, whoa, what happened? I, I guess I got here too late. Because Deku already stopped the Nomu that was designed to kill All Might. So All Might didn't have to exhaust his power. He didn't even have to use none of his abilities. So All Might still had the embers of One For All that was left in his body. So it wasn't really much of All Might could do because Deku was still on the fighting fence as he looked over to Shigaraki and rushed over to him, basically kicking Shigaraki in the face, punching him in the stomach and grabbing his arm to make sure he doesn't touch his hand and slamming Shigaraki in the ground and then basically kicking him in the side over to Korogiri. Shigaraki coughs up blood and barely gets himself up trying to sustain the attacks that Deku gave to him. And Deku just warns the, all of them. He says, you need to leave this facility now. If you don't, don't blame me for what happens next. And Shigaraki has his eyes wide open like he's shocked. And he says, no. Shigaraki says, no. How did he do that? He cheated as Deku's just, he's powering down to 50% of full cow, one for all, just so he doesn't hurt his body too much. He I mean, he's in strain, but he's, his over, like his confidence and his fighting, like his adrenaline is like fighting the pain. So Deku doesn't feel anything in the heat of the moment. He's using his body to fight the Nomu, or not the Nomu, to basically get rid of the rest of the villains that were there and in this series Tenya Ida really didn't need like find the need to go get All Might because he's seen how Deku just made play with these villains as all the students who've seen this they were shocked too as seeing how Deku just played with these villains like it was nothing but one of the students did manage to go get All Might just because they were too sure that Deku would win and when All Might did show up he was surprised that Izuku managed to beat everyone. Not so much surprised to the surprise to the fact that he was proud. Like, wow, Izuku Midoriya, young Midoriya, you did come far. And All Might just sat down and said, "Well, villains, like he said, you have a choice. You either leave now, or suffer the consequences later on." As Shigaraki says, no, I was so close. He got in the way. He got in the way. And you hear Kyle Greary in the background says, come on, we need to leave. As all the villains goes into the warp gate and leaves. As Shigaraki, he's just, no, you will get so lucky next time, boy. And he left. All the villains left. And that's where we ending. What if Deku mastered one for all part three? Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I did because it was much fun for me to do part three and to see Deku fight the Nomu. So if you have any more suggestions, Leaf, or you have any more, if you have any comments, let me know. Thank you for watching and I highly appreciate the support you guys. Take care and good night.